What's going on? Happy, beautiful Monday to you, you beautiful soul. I hope you're having a good one. However, this video is about your beliefs, your core beliefs and values, and how that affects manifestation, law of attraction, law of assumption. But if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate the love and support. However, let's just get to the basics. Everyone, including you and me, have been brainwashed. So in order for us to move forward into that divine called path of the spiritual manifestation journey because it's all in one i hate how people put spirituality in its own little category when we should all be focusing on doing the spiritual work living your best life your destiny and not being afraid to take the different route okay because a lot of people 99 percent of the world will knock people down who are into astrology tarot um manifestation say it's cap say it's witchcraft say it's all lies it's just something to feed the media to make money and there's a lot of people who do things for the wrong reasons don't get it twisted but at the end of the day everything is your subconscious and the power that is within you of your beautiful soul because you're more than your name you're more than your body you're more than this 3d okay there's a timeline where you don't even exist and there's a timeline where your life is at the highest and the lowest and then you right here so a lot of people need to get this caught up and not caught up a lot of people need to understand this is what i'm trying to say a little fast my bad uh, <laughs> a lot of people like to point fingers to the external instead of look and reflect within do some healing to the inner child the wound and embrace them instead of trying to put another band-aid a lot of people do that and we all done that before including myself you know i'm not trying to knock anyone down but your beliefs are very important okay if you believe it is hard to have a successful happy fulfilling career that provides you for night uh, excuse me <laughs> if you feel that it is impossible to have a career that gives you the secure financial freedom and independence that is what you're going to manifest. Everything is pushed through within, without, of your mind, your thoughts, and your feelings, and your emotions. And the more you can put the intention and put the value towards feeling, visualizing, and living and being as present, instead of trying to reach out like it's somewhere external, okay? So everything is a reflection of you for relationships, of career, finances, love, and romance. Everything. And a lot of people don't seem to understand. If you want to manifest wealth and money and success, usually one or the other comes. Love or career and finance, money, success. But they don't come at the same time. But they will follow one another. Okay? So a lot of people have either issues with money issues with love or both one or the other you know one of those it's either love but they have money no love or they have love no money or they don't have either okay but everything is a self-concept the self-esteem and confidence in how you truly feel and value yourself that's why it is super important to do the healing from anything in life Rather, it's heartbreak, heartaches, um, trigger response to things, learning how to react and respond to people, places, and things in a healthy manner. And if you knock yourself off, get back up, brush it off, continue moving forward, hold yourself accountable and be responsible, but you continue to put one foot in front of the other. And a lot of people will say, damn, I want to have this dream car, but why? It's just a car, right? Maybe you should let go of what exactly. And hey, when, a lot of times when you truly surrender and just let go, because there's going to be a moment in time that you get that dream car of yours after a few months and then it's just a regular car, right? The car you have right now, when you first got it, you were piped up. You were like, fuck yeah, I got my own car, man. Hell yeah. And then what happened? Like three months, you just like, man, I don't even fucking want to drive this shit right now, bro. What the fuck? 
you know, oh, my car, fucking, I hate my window. No, it's not, it's not rolling as fast as it used to. Oh, my radio sucks. I gotta fucking replace it. Oh, my God, this car is terrible. Chill the fuck out. You gotta let go and just simply realize that the universe, the divine, will always bring you something more beyond than what you are trying to fathom in your fucking little brain, okay? I'm talking to myself like I'm talking to you, not in any way, shape, or form of negative. I'm just being real. I'm just being honest, okay? So, if you feel and believe, even if you don't believe, your feelings and thoughts will manifest itself. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you but feel that you can be successful in life, that you can have whatever it is you're trying to put towards, if you feel like you can have a successful online business, right? But you don't have the full belief in it, rather it's yourself, your beliefs in general, your understanding of how to attract, or believing and trusting in the universe, it's going to be very tug and pull. You're going to be battling yourself, okay? So a lot of people that I've heard at least, even if you don't really believe in yourself, but if you truly believe and trust the divine and the process of it, and just a smudge piece, a drop of rain, of believing in who you are, sometimes, or vice versa, that it will happen. But I feel like the more people try to get in that controlling way of, I want this because I deserve this. The fuck do you mean? You don't deserve. Sh you don't deserve it in that type of tone, that type of connection with yourself and the universe. You're trying to get more into. I want to have all the, the tentacles of the ground of the seeds that I want to manifest, and I don't care what it does or what it serves. Nah, plant the seeds that you feel that connect and correlate to your journey, your life, your destiny, path, all of that, and learn how to serve others. But you cannot serve anything or anyone else unless you take care of yourself. Healing, showing up, doing the inner healing, the work, not just external work, internal love and nurturing. And I feel like I'm bringing this more up in this video because it is tourist season and I feel the need that I might make a video on how to navigate Taurus season with the energy of some knowledge. I'm not an astrologer. I do follow and listen to astrology. Shout out to the Peace Dealer. Shout out to the Leo King. Shout out to Christopher Witecki, uh, Serious Joy. I'm going to link all those out in the description. Hopefully I don't forget this time. Link in the description for them. They have been the ones I've been watching since astrology came into my existence. But I want to do a video on my little own breakdown and rundown of Taurus season from Aries and the Eclipse energy and how it's affected me in my own little way, but also to give you some insight in some sort of way of serving you. And I want to touch more up. I might make it like a little series of here of beliefs and self-concept, everything that ties into law of attraction and law of assumption. But I feel like I'm running out of things to say and I don't like to force anything into my video. Anything that's forced, I kind of just say, all right, you know, hey, not the time. The universe is telling me, not the time. So, um, lost my train of thought there. But give yourself permission to live, love, and laugh, but also show up, okay? Don't be so harsh on yourself. Don't be negative. Don't speak things into existence that you know deep down inside the power is within you. So if you know your word is a fucking magical one, how will you utilize it and how will you go about things? And remember to treat everyone as you want to be treated. I feel like that saying has always been a saying as some sort of gap of holding people into being one foot in, one foot out of the spiritual, true destined healing journey of us light workers that understand the ability to have compassion and understanding towards people who aren't into spirituality per se and disagree with us. Rather, it's harsh or just basic, hey, I don't agree with you, but I still respect you. A lot of people don't know how to do that, but feel like with that saying treat other people how you want to be treated has always been one foot in one foot out of hey like this is the 
clear indication that how you treat and feel about yourself is the same exact trigger response that people are going to feel and treat you as. Everyone is equal. No one is above anyone. Trust and believe in the divine. And I know it's been intense, but this is a beautiful time to manifest. This is a beautiful time to be alive. You are here for a reason. And if you're still watching this video, I just want you to know this. If you made it to this current moment, this time of day, whenever you're watching this, you are here simply to uplift the energetic frequency and vibration of the universe because you were chosen and selected and you made it this far. Count your blessings. Be grateful for everything in life, no matter what it is you are going through, circumstantial, the situations in your life, the relationships in your life, the financial structure of everything. Just be grateful. You are here for a reason. You will Leave your mark by choice is up to you. Everything and everyone has a choice. That's all I wanted to say in this video. It is a little short. I don't even know what I'm going to title this, but I appreciate y'all very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one. Peace.